Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new and watching, welcome. Thanks so much for watching on today. I hope you like my content and decide to join in and be a part of my family. This is a part of what I do here on my channel. I um, use my play with me time as a time for me to relax. Um, some of my personal me time goes into me doing my planning. And um, it just so happens that I do planning videos of it because it's what I like to do. So we're going to be doing another um, plan with me, setting up my next week's weekly spread for my personal and home section. This is this week's spread that I completed. I think that it was just so cute. I love how it turned out. And so next week's spread, we're gonna go ahead and make sure we get that completed as well. And so, if you want to see how it turns out, stick around, keep watching. I was having a hard time getting started so I decided to just start with some washi tape to try to get something going. And if you notice I have a band-aid on my finger because I was opening some mail and got the worst paper cut. I really wanted to use that wake up beauty it's time to be sticker and I was having a hard time trying to put together exactly what I was going to do like my plan was just not coming together in my mind um, with using it but I laid it down anyway and I just went with it and I figured out the rest from there So I was dead set on trying to get that gold sticker right there to work um, in the middle of the page. And so I was fumbling through my washi tape trying to figure out what I could put down with it to make it go well. And I just, I didn't want my page to be covered with nothing but foil. And so, you know, I had to sit and think about it for a little bit longer. I started giving up on that sheet of stickers and started flipping back through and I found another one that I felt would go, actually I found two that would go with that Wake Up Beauty It's Time To Be sticker so much better and I selected this one to use instead and I used a bunch of stickers off of this sheet. And as you can see, I'm still contemplating washi <laughs> and whether or not I can actually use that washi. I just, I was having a hard time with this spread, y'all. It it took a lot of creativity to try to get it to come together, but I think I worked it out. I started telling myself something that I think when I look at other people, like taking a long time to put stickers down, and that is sometimes you just gotta go for it. You just gotta start and pray for the best and hope that it looks good when you're finished. And usually mine, when I'm just like randomly throwing stuff down, it typically does come together pretty well. Like I, I try to pre-plan my whole sheet out in my mind, but then something happens and I wanna do something a little different and I have to change my plan up. And this was one of those times. It did not work out the way I thought it would work out. Those sticker books that have like the pre 
selected stickers that you're supposed to use on one entire layout. They don't, they never work out for me. I always need something else. But I just kept going. And I, I guess it just started coming together on its own in my mind uh, as I continued to move on. Uh, but I was at that point to where I'm just going to lay these stickers down and we're going to hope for the best. So I have been doing this planning as you go type of a thing that I saw uh, Praying and Planning's channel do uh, for the last couple of weeks and I really like how it's been working out for me because I use the No Llama Drama, the daily No Llama Drama sheets where you do the listing for my actual pre-planning and then I kind of just transfer it over as I need it or as I complete it onto my uh, personal home section planner which is the one that I'm setting up right now and so I have a couple of different sections on here and I love how I have it set up um, I'm doing the same thing the same concept that I used last week on my setup which is there's a section for like priority to do's there's going to be a section where I put the meals that I'm going to be making for the week there's going to be a, a to-do section, like a, a shopping list section there as well. Um, and then I'm going to have a me time section. And so uh, that's practically the way that I have this all set up and the way you'll see the layout continue to unfold. And I, I like the way I'm doing it here to where it's not like, oh, this is what I'm doing on this day, this day, and this day. Um, I also have my actual, a section where I'm putting my actual not the the items that I'm going to be completing because I have a whole section in my planner for it, but the actual days that I want to be completing the items on that I'm going to film for my channel. And so I have a section on my planner for that. And so I, I really, again, I love the way that it's unfolding. I love the way that I decided to do my layouts here. It's something that I think I probably will continue on with doing unless I see something else that I like doing even more and want to try out. But this is working out really well for me. I love it. So right now I am putting down my film schedule section. I just say, cause they don't have a, like a schedule sticker in the Happy Planner sticker books. 
sauteed the reschedule stickers and I cut off the re part and I add a camera to the front of it for film schedule and I just put a box down for that. There are a couple of things that I do have sectioned off here by the day and those are um, my day off. I have that up here which is Monday. It's a special day off for me. I have a meeting on Monday and so I have that sectioned off here on Monday and I also have up here that I go to church on Sundays and that I'm going to be having me time on Saturday for some special me time for myself. So those are practically the only things that I have up here that are specific to an individual day. And I will sporadically do that throughout my planner on my layout for the week. But typically it's not sectioned off like with a specific date in mind for the most part for everything else. So previously, I write in what chores I'm going to do and what days I'm going to do laundry on. Uh, but instead, for this week, what I'm going to try doing is just putting down the stickers that say I'm going to do chores and that say I'm going to do laundry. And I'm on my pre-planning going to actually list what days I'm going to try to complete them on and check them off as I go from there uh, to see how that works out instead. And here I'm just struggling more trying to figure out what I can do to pull this together. I just feel like it needs something else that blue at the bottom is hanging out a little bit too much. So I decided to use this uh, washi tape here and I think it's going to pull it together really well. Um, but it's too wide for the section that I'm using it in so I have to cut it down. And I don't like wasting and so I um, decided to try to see if I could use the scraps that I had from it in other places. few other things that I wanted to lay down were a late start sticker being that I'm off on Monday and I don't have to like rush to get up to take the kids to school because they're off too as Martin Luther King Jr. Day. I decided to put a late, late start sticker up and below that on the same side of the page just some reminders for the week. These again are not specific to the day. I plan to go back and fill in on here what days I plan to do these things on. So the first one is wake up early and that's what the alarm clock is there for the second one is go to bed early and the third one is unplugged so i'm just going to be putting days and times there so i can you know kind of keep in mind that these are things that i want to do throughout the week and when and then also on the other side i put that i want to pray and these are dailies for me i want to journal and i want to have bible study daily and so those are just again reminders for what i would like to do for the week well guys, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to go ahead and get it put back into my planner 
Now, comment below. Let me know what you think about my thought process behind my setup. What do you think about the actual layout in itself? If you did like this video, I hope you've hit that like button. And if you're not already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't, join my family. Take a look at the content that I have on my channel. I'm sure there's something else here that will interest you. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And until next time, bye.